Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rechakwadash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Um, this video is going to be, um, all right, based on a, uh, something that, uh, the apostle, uh, the apostle Ramlov had, had said in his, uh, in, uh, one of the videos he did, all right, called Divine Intervention, okay, and, um, you know, as I was listening to it, he had mentioned how he gave the analogy, actually, a beautiful analogy, um, as to how this, this truth, all right, for the elect is like, is like, uh, uh, well, I called it the airport analogy, you know, where basically, <clears throat> you know, um, the, uh, 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 the elect, okay, their tickets or their seats on the chariots are already set, okay, but even still, they're still, they, we still have to put in this work right now that we're doing because what? It's, 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 it's just like buying a ticket to leave the country. You still have to make your way to the airport, you know, and, 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 and to get on the plane. Now, when you get there, you're not going to be denied because you have the ticket. You're, you're, it's already purchased. Your seat is available. You just have to now make your way there. You see, and that's why, you know, Lowell and we be of the elect, we're doing, and like we always say, we're doing what the elect will be doing, all right? Even though you know that, because it's like saying, oh, if we knew we the elect, we wouldn't do anything. But that's like saying, if if you bought a ticket to leave the country, you're just going to stay in your house. The plane is not going to come to you. You know, you have to make your way to the airport, <clears throat> which is why we still have to do these works and put in, put in this work. Which is which is us us uh, 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 making our way to the airport. That's why the Lord said, "He that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved." All right, roughly paraphrasing. So if you endure unto the end, you're not gonna be. And if you're the Lord's elect, you're not gonna be denied. You know, you're not gonna be denied. That's why it says uh, the the uh, uh, salvation is already predestined. Your seat is already there. You just have to go get it. You have to make it there. You know, to take the seat. <laughs> All right. So this is a um, quick precept, 2nd Ezra chapter 2, verse uh, 13. You know, I just put a couple of precepts together real quick through the Spirit. All right, but it says, Go, and ye shall receive. Pray for a few days unto you. All right, and that's what, you know, that's what, hey, personally, I pray for that. I know brothers also pray, all right, for a few days or fewer days <coughs> in this in this, in this this uh, uh, captivity, man. It's, it's, we, we always got to pray for that, man, because, look, this, this, and then the, and the Lord said, what? He's going to shorten the days. He's going to speed up the days. Okay. But we got to pray for this, man, because this captivity is, is destroying our people, man. All right. Every day we wake up in this hell is a vexation of our spirit. That's why we constantly pray. All right. For the days to go quick. And they are. Here it is. You wake up in the morning and it's <coughs> like, and before you know it, it's already nighttime, you know, and it's, it's like, because the Lord is shortening the days. He, and people in the world are even noticing it. The Lord is shortening the days, all right, because what? Prophecies are, are, are taking place, and ultimately, so we can be delivered. Okay, it says, um, pray for a few days unto you that they may be shortened. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. See, main point, the kingdom is already prepared for you. You just have to endure until the end to, 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 to you know what I mean, take part in it, to, to, be, to be in it. All right? The kingdom is ours, but... We have to get there. We have to make it there. You know, just as though if somebody has a gift for you, you know, and, and you know, what I mean, wherever they might be, or they tell you to come get your gift, you still have to go get the gift. Now, the gift is for you, regardless of what you do. The gift is for you, but you still have to go get it. OK, um, so this is second measure, chapter seven, verse. Uh, hmm. I'll start at verse five. Uh, no, it's like it. Verse 6. There is also another thing. A city is builded and set upon a broad field and is full of all good things. The entrance thereof is narrow <coughs> and is set in a dangerous place to fall, like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left a deep water. All right, and, and the precept for that, the scriptures talk about uh, the straight and narrow path, all right, because this is an example of the kingdom. All right, the kingdom is, is, is there, but you got to go through the hardships, all right, in order to get to it, okay? <coughs> it says the only, and, and only one path between them both, all right? Now, jumping back to verse 7, it says here, the, the entrance thereof is narrow. Um, I believe there's a, quick, a preset that backs that up. It says, um,
Oh, that's not this one. Like, I'm really trying to find this precept. I just, this, they make it so difficult just to, to find this. Um, let me just search Google. Yeah, I think it is. It's uh, Matthew seven thirteen. All right, so I care about that. Um, <clears throat> so Matthew chapter seven verse thirteen: Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. All right, uh, representing the path to the truth and the path for destruction. That's why you have a whole lot of different uh, stumbling blocks out here misleading a lot of people. That's the wide gate, <coughs> all right? The straight gate, all right, is, is starting starting with, with the doctrine in which the apostles and elders of Great Millstone teach, all right, on down. That's the straight gate because that's the path that's going to uh, 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 lead you, all right, to, to the truth. Well, that is the truth. We teach the truth, Okay. But all these other, do you have a lot of different uh, 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 denominations and different groups, whether they be Israelites or even just just Christians and all these different religions, all these different things are all part of the wide gate, all right? That lead to destruction, and that's why it says that many there be which go which go there at. That's why it's, it's so many people in these different groups like the IUIC or Christianity or Catholicism and all of that, because the Lord, the Lord, what He said He's looking for a remnant, <coughs> not the whole world. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. See? Few there be that find it. <clears throat> Alright, so going back um, to Esdras. Alright, so it says, um, where was it? And the entrance thereof is narrow. See? Go like 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 we, uh, we read here. Alright, straight is the gate, and narrow is the way. All right, this is an analogy for the kingdom. So it says, um, the entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall, like as if there were a fire on the, on the right hand and on the left hand a deep water, and, and, and one only path between them both, even between the fire and water, so small that there could but one man go, go there at once. And that's the, that's the verse I was looking for. All right, so that is the, uh, uh, the path to the kingdom, which is why when you're on this path in the truth, you have no room to be to be joking around and playing games. All right, we you have to be focused and go down that that straight path because if you if you stumble to the right too much, you're gonna fall into that fire. If you stumble to the left, you're gonna fall into that water. You know you gotta you gotta stay straight, man. You don't have we don't have much wiggle room, so you gotta stay focused. It says because of course there's gonna be temptations and 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 and, and uh, different trials and tribulations that come, but we still have to keep going on that path. Now it says if this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance, so it's his. If he never shall pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? See, <clears throat> and that's the point right there, which is why the elect still have to go out there and prophesy and and minister and 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 do the will of the Lord because. Although the kingdom is is is, is uh, set, all right, and and salvation is, is is set for the elect, they still have to like 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 it said right here, uh, uh they can't receive it unless they they they, you know what I mean they they go through the path to it. 
you know? That's like having the key, all right? That's like having the key to a treasure chest, all right? And and whatever riches or whatever you want is in the treasure chest. You have the key, of course, to open it. Not everybody has the key, but you have to first find the chest or you have to at least make your way to the chest in order to open it, all right? So they like still have to put in the work to get to the salvation which is already set for them, all right? So it says, um, um, yeah, I believe that was it on that, on that, uh, so I got this next one. This is first Peter chapter four, verse 12. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial. Oh, say it, man. It says, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened to you. All right. Or happened onto you. Okay. And that's why what? <clears throat> Being in this truth, man, knowing that 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 we're on the right path, we we you can't you can't be uh, 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 hasty, all right. Whenever things things uh, uh, happen to you, all right, because don't don't have the oh well, I'm doing I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, and I'm I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, you know. So no no evil can ever come to me. Well, read the book of Job, all right, because usually it's a test, chastisement. So you that's why the scriptures say in in, in um, let me just get it. Rack the second chapter. It says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. See? Um, set thy heart aright and constantly endure, and make not haste in time of trouble. So don't think it like Peter said, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. Because what? It is going to happen. That's why it said, if you come to serve the Lord, prepare your soul, alright, or your mind, or your spirit for temptation, because it's gonna come. All right, but if you be of that elect, you're gonna be able to endure it unto the end and gain the salvation and the glory and the reward that is set for you. Okay, it is set for you, but you still have to go get it. Okay, you have to go get it, and that then that's you know I mean that's what I got you know from what the elder said, and it, you know it was the videos of course very edifying. All right, but that analogy stood out to me. Okay. <clears throat> because look, man, we we you know low willing we are of the elect. Hey, we still gotta put in the work, man. You know, we still gotta put in the work and remain humble and just keep doing the works. All right. And when the when the when the moment of truth comes, we're gonna know. All right. But low willing, this video is edifying to the elect. You know, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to you. How about Shimmy? How shy? Hey, just stay on the right path. You know, like we just read the precepts about how how narrow. All right, the path is, man. So you just stay on the right path. Now it's not the time to get distracted and, and getting entangled with the affairs of this world because you will fall into the fire. All right. So stay on the, the right path, knowing that this is the truth. Stay on it and just endure until the end. All right. Shalom.